Hey, I'm Carson James, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some cool things you can do with a Makati. Uh, the office sent an email, and they were like, hey, we need a video on different things that you do with your Makati rig, lead, setup, whatever. And, uh, you know, I can only use it for getting on and off of my horse. It's handy for that, but then I started taking. So I figured we're just going to show you guys everything that you can do with a Makati lead setup. Once you see this, you're probably going to want one. If your fences seem time to get away from you and doing maintenance on them, you can use your Makati and your horsey to straighten out crooked fence posts by taking a wrap like so, and then you back up your horsey, back up, back, back, whoa. A better way to actually do it is you just put the loop of it on the fence post and then you just do like that. It's much more effective. Now probably the best thing to use a Makati for is it's really handy, especially if you're getting on and off a horse a whole lot during the day, opening gates or anything like that. But these work really good. It's just like an instant lead rope. Now there's this little trick you can do for making these come out really well when you get on of course obviously do not ever tie this around your belt or put this in any kind of way to where it would not be able to simply pull out <laughs> you learn these things <laughs> you just take the end and you run it up through at the same spot like that and leave you know i don't know that much hanging off when you go to get on your horsey this is our horsey for the demonstration you pick it up right here and you just lay it over your forearm right and then once you get on your horsey it's just kind of laying right here on your wrist and then you just let it fall but it works really good having it over here on this <clears throat> on this side see you know you can adjust it and stuff like that but um works really good having it on this side because it keeps it up off of their shoulder and it keeps it from drooping real low so see if we put it if we run it to right if we run it say like right here or even right here see how it's like drooping down and it's just kind of i don't know it's just more in the way but if we run it to this off side our right side See, it makes it lay right up here by your saddle horn. It keeps it off of your thigh and it keeps it from falling up under your thigh when you're posting your trot or, you know, anything like that. Makati's great for when you jump. If you're afraid that your horse might kind of jump and run off or something, this way you can keep him from running off. See, I landed right in the middle of the target, but it's because I could commit all of my focus to landing right on target and I didn't have to worry about the horse running away because I had this. If you already have this Makati type setup, you're probably already practicing all this stuff anyway. If your cowboy skills are like they should be, you can use this like the end of a whip and you can use it to destroy plant life in your pasture. Observe, notice the plant. Now see, I could have done it the first time. I just want you guys to realize that the struggle is real. You know, if you haven't practiced this a thousand times like me, you won't get it on the first time and this is what it'll look like. See, I almost got it right there and I could have done it right there. I just didn't want to. It's just too windy and stuff. One thing that's really good about a Makati lead is you can play jump rope with your horse. Now it takes a little practice, but if you, um, if you get it swinging a little and then you go there and then you go, and then you go there and there and there, and then with a lot of practice, you can go all the way around and then you can jump over it like that. If your horse gets right up to the back of the trailer, but he won't put his foot up on there to go in. This is if you don't have the ramp thing on your trailer. You can use your Makati like this, and then you can go back here, and then you can get him to pick up his foot, 
and then you can put it right there on the trailer and sometimes that'll make them get in the trailer. If you ever need to lead your horse around hands-free, you can just put this around your neck like that and now you're hands-free and then you can just lead your horse. I mean, no, that's not safe. Don't do that. If you ever want to try to stand up on your horsey and steer your horsey at the same time, your Makati lead works really good for that. But it's kind of weird because you can only go to the left, but that's okay. Here's one. If your horsey is lazy or dull to your leg and you're trying to get him lighter, you know, you could just lightly bump him with the heels and then when he ignores that, you come in and you can spank him over and under style. Not hard. You do it progressively harder, but the instant he speeds up, you stop. But over and under style, it's like this. So it's like spank, 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 spank. Let's see, you can get into that rhythm and um, You'd let it be a little longer and let it tap him more back here on his hip. If I did it with him, he would probably go because he kind of knows what that means. But So, you know, you can kind of use that to uh, get one lighter to the leg and more willing to move out and go. It's really handy for that, especially if you've just got the tail stuck up through right here. Then it's just hanging right here. So anytime he's being heavy to your leg or something, you know, you can cue him with your leg and then you can just come right here and kind of show him what that means you know if you ever want to get on your horse from the top of a fence or something you can use your makati to where he kind of stays there It works really good for that. Once you're on your horse, you can use the perfectly fashioned pointer popper thing for promotional activities like so. Right here, we have the Horse TV banner. Horse TV is a really cool thing. Go look at that. Banner's kind of messed up because this is Florida and there's a hurricane and it's been really windy. It's good for positioning your horsey to come up underneath your knees right here with his back so he's easy to mount from the fence or a stump or something. Watch, he's really good at this. See, it gets right up here close, and without even using any effort, you can just go. Sometimes I like to dismount my horses in really unique ways for practice, obviously. Here's one of them. Ta-da! Sometimes to make sure my horses are really okay with people being up above their backs, I like to do stuff like this. And then sometimes I like to kind of just fall off of them on purpose to make sure they're okay with it. He passed. Another common use is you can kind of use this as a bluff to tie your horse up, but these are expensive, so don't ever tie it because they'll break it. You learn these things, but you can wrap it right there. And then you might make a couple wraps where you just kind of lay it over like that, but you want it to slide if they were to really pull on it. For more awesome videos like this, including updates on special events, giveaways, and other things like that, you can just text HORSES to 888-111 right now.